Biden order to halt China tied Bitcoin mine beside nuke base came as U.S. firm just bought it. President Biden's emergency order to halt the Chinese tied mining on the doorstep of a nuclear missile base hit days after mining giant CleanSpark struck a deal to buy the property. CleanSpark had just finished hailing the benefits of its purchase of a Wyoming crypto mining site when the White House declared that the current operation was a national security threat that must be halted. The company says it was unaware of the order before buying the properties but intends to move forward with the acquisition. Order would mark first the first presidential prohibition relying on the expanded authority over real estate transactions granted to Cepheus and the president. An American Bitcoin mining company CleanSpark CLSK got caught up in the U.S.-China political war after buying mining sites in Wyoming within close proximity of the U.S. Nuclear missile base for Mine One, a company with Chinese ties. On Monday, President Joe Biden ordered a Bitcoin mining facility near Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming to stop operations, citing a threat to national security as it uses foreign sourced technology. The order said that Mine One is majority owned by Chinese nationals and all mining equipment on the property must be removed from within a mile of the military facility in Cheyenne, which houses Minuteman Roman III intercontinental ballistic missiles items. While this may not be a surprising move in itself, the timing stands out as Mine One sold the sites to Clean Spark less than a week prior to the order. On May 9, CleanSpark said it was buying two mining sites for nearly $19 million in cash with a 45-day closing without naming a specific seller. The miner said it will deploy China-based Bitmain's latest generation mining machine, noting that it plans to expand the sites by an additional 55 megawatts MW from 75 MW. A spokesperson for CleanSpark said the company was unaware of the order prior to buying the mining sites but acknowledged the concerns in the executive order and intends to press forward with the deal. The executive order and the involvement of Cepheus, both of which we were unaware of before signing the deal, has added an unexpected layer to the closing process, but we are working through these developments toward a satisfactory closing, the spokesperson told Coindesk in a statement. We respect the oversight process and are dedicated to ensuring that our operations bolster national security and benefit economic development, particularly in Wyoming, a state that has been at the forefront of developing and nurturing a pro-Bitcoin environment, the statement said. Neither mine one nor lawyers at Loeb and Loeb who handled the property deal for the company responded to requests for comment. The details of the $19 million deal, though, were fully described in filings to the Securities and Exchange Commission second from CleanSpark. The purchase was highly dependent on the securing of massive amounts of energy required to run the business. The larger of the two properties is about 4,000 feet from the closest edge of Warren Air Force Base. From Mine One, the sale agreement was signed by Jia Ming Lai, identified as the company's director. Lai, who couldn't be reached by Coindesk for comment, has also been president of China's Tai Food Company, a partner in TCC Capital and reportedly manage almost $12 billion in assets at Sinite Insurance Company. He has a doctorate in economics from Fordham University, according to past press releases. Lai was also briefly the president of BitOrigin Limited, a Mine One investor and a company that was reported to have garnered similar scrutiny previously from Washington. Due diligence. The second disclosed contract with CleanSpark outlined a due diligence period extending 15 days from the May 8 date the deal was signed and the purchase could be scrapped if Mine One didn't satisfy several conditions, including government compliance matters. I have been deeply involved in national security affairs for nearly four decades and am well aware of the potential risks of many different types of encroachment on important defense infrastructure, said Tom Wood, a Clean Spark board member who once served in senior U.S. Navy roles and as a military analyst in a statement. The presence of the CCP-owned data processing facility near a facility like Warren, which houses a portion of the nation's IPM force, is legitimate cause for concern, as noted by the president's order. He said he's familiar with the CFIUS process, calling it impartial, data-driven, and non-arbitrary, and he said that if the U.S. mining business can address the concerns in the order, I would consider this a significant win-win for the United States and for Clean Spark. This use of Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States CFIUS powers to shut down the acquisition by owners tied to China marked the eight such use of CFIUS, seven of which involve China, according to lawyers at Hogan Levels who specialize in this issue. And Saladin and Brian Curran said in an emailed analysis that this was the first presidential prohibition relying on the expanded authority over real estate transactions granted to CFIUS and the president under the Foreign Investment Risk Review Modernization Act of 2018.